I am Petty Officer First Class Cody Roberts. I'm from a small town in Massachusetts called Bellingham, and I'm a company commander at Training Center Cape May. I originally wanted to be a company commander because in boot camp I was instilled with the ideals and aspirations that our company commanders put on me, and um, it was just something that kind of aligned with what I like to do in life. I like to make an impact on people. That's one of the reasons I became a culinary specialist. And when I was applying to be a company commander, that became really apparent to me. And the fact that I would have that ability to still make a even bigger impact on the recruits here at Training Center Cape May and eventually into the Coast Guard fleet. When I found out I was the new company commander of the quarter, I was extremely surprised, like I didn't even see it coming for a second. Uh, to be selected was a very humbling and exciting moment for me because here at Training Center Cape May we're some of the most elite, hard-charging Coast Guards men and women and to be selected amongst my peers for it was, it was just unbelievable. What I think makes me an inspirational leader is I've always led through my Coast Guard career. Uh, lead by example is what I always say, so by setting that example in a professional demeanor, high energy, um, living the Coast Guard core values. By showing that to the recruits here, I think they really see that balance and they, they strive to be like the, the model you set. So I think that by setting the best example you can set, which is something we live through in the company Commander Creed, they will adapt and they will strive to be like you. So by doing that, uh, you can set the best example possible just by being yourself. I think a good company commander impacts the Coast Guard workforce by providing well-disciplined, professional human beings to, to work out in the fleet. You know, we instill those Coast Guard values. We instill the, the hard work and determination that they need to put forth to do the many missions that the Coast Guard does. And I think that by us instilling them with those values, they graduate ready to do the work that we are going to give them when they get to their next units. I hope to make an impact on the recruits that I train by teaching them to, to set good examples. Um, one thing I always say is that you know all it takes is one bad egg to spoil a whole pot. So by them going to their unit, having good uniform standards, being a professional military being, they can set a high standard even from the lowest level in the Coast Guard. I always say, set a high examples. It doesn't matter how junior or senior you are at your unit, you can change anything. Uh, so after a long stressful day, being a company commander on the regiment, I like to you know go home and I try and put the same effort that I put into the recruits every day into my family. I have a wife, uh, Cassidy. I have a daughter, four-year-old daughter, Melody, and a two-year-old son, Scott. I have a blue healer who's about one year old, he's still a puppy, Gus. And I, I love to spend time with my family. You know, I'll, I'll play fetch with the dog, have the kids outside playing. Uh, we have a great neighborhood here at Training Center Cape May. Uh, there's something, I think, magical about your, your kids when you walk in the door and they're like, Daddy, and they come up and hug you. I think that helps bring the energy back out a little bit, even when you're, you've just worked a 14, 16 hour shift. Um, but yeah, definitely try and put the same amount of effort into family that you do at work, and that'll pay off if I don't balance it out. When I'm not spending time with my family, I'm usually, you know, working on physical fitness, hitting the gym, going for runs. I like to go rucking. I first got into it about a year, year and a half ago. Uh, one of my friends had recommended a book to me uh, by a ex-army ranger named Nick Bear and he talks a lot about Army Ranger School and the rucking that they do in school. Um, Nick Bear uh, put a lot of ideals into that book and compared a lot of his life to a ruck in terms of putting yourself in that uncomfortable state, you know, carrying all that weight for long distances on your back uh, will put you in that uncomfortable state and he says that people grow the most when being uncomfortable. And I think that kind of stuck with me because just being out on the road somewhere, just carrying that weight on you for a long period of time, it, it's uncomfortable after a while. And to push yourself past what you think is like your limit is just building that uncomfortable state and it builds that self-discipline as a person and state. Nobody, nobody comes here and just knocks it out of the park, I don't think. 
Uh, every, every moment and every day can, has its uncomfortable moments, and seeing them come through the, the obstacles that we throw at them and make it through the end, and they're just so grateful to have you know, a home, a, a place, new brothers and sisters that the Coast Guard has brought to them. I think it's, it's humbling, and it's, it's just it's super exciting to see that they have made it thus far.